Welcome back to the Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl Show. It's time to hang out with Rob, Mike, and Dunia. Whatever you don't want to say, they will with no chaser. Take a shot and let's have a drink. Is hashtag squad goals still a thing? Because they are. Let's go. We're back. We're back. And I'm black. Mm-mm. Hello. <laughs> He's not. No. no. And I'm a prostitute. I don't sell crack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't, you ain't got no lawn either. <laughs> they didn't have a lawn. Either. <laughs> I didn't see no lawns there either. <laughs> they, was, they were sitting under a tree, but wasn't no. <laughs> <laughs> my girl Audrey sent me that. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to figure. I don't. I can't figure out how to post those kind of things. I'll put it on our uh, stories. Uh, it was an old cops episode and this lady had her uh, her morals and her standards. She don't sell crack. Yes, she don't sell crack. She's a prostitute. I'm a prostitute. Yeah. And she don't need to be coming around my house with that bush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to eat this cake. <laughs> Pay me for that. Cake? What cake? I said the girl that bought, was trying to buy the crack. She said she got some plaster. She oh, got yeah. plaster. <laughs> I'm saying unless she wants to pay me to eat this cake, then so the crackhead gave somebody twenty dollars for some crack, <laughs> and they brought her some plaster back. So that's, she, so she, that's what she yeah. says. So she that's called she, she called the cops, <laughs> and she wanted her twenty dollars back because she didn't get what she initially tried to purchase, <laughs> and. Uh, and he said, let's be clear on this. So, <laughs> you want your $20 back because you were trying to buy a crack from this woman. So, she um, pointed at the house where she supposedly bought the crack from. When they interviewed the lady who supposedly had sold the crack, <laughs> she had to sick everybody. Yes. And she basically said, I don't sell crack. I'm a prostitute. Yes. Yeah. The people that used to live here used to sell, but... I we don't sell here. Don't she's sell not going to disrespect my, <laughs> yeah. my child. I, I'm a prostitute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she said it with a straight face, yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Sure. You know, I'm not into the drug game, but uh, you don't call the police if somebody doesn't give you your drugs. No, you take that As far loss. as I know. <laughs> take that loss and uh, pistol up and go find <laughs> She needed her crack to pistol yeah. up. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. You could have bought a half a gallon of bottle pullover. <laughs> Drank the whole bottle. Mm-hmm. Probably had the same effect. Oh my gosh. Well, welcome back, everybody. Thank you for coming back. No guests this week. Last week was really fun. Um, and we're about to be fun again. But uh, we're on episode 56. How, how 50, 56. <laughs> Sorry, it was the emphasis on the S <laughs> at the end. Yeah. I mean, that is six. Six, six. Yeah. Say or say yeah. <laughs> Sing it. <laughs> and it is called Deal Breakers Two. Round two. Yep. Round two. <laughs> Before we get into it, how was everyone's week? Tequila, how was your week? My week was um dun, 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 dun. My week was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had a State of the Union address, so um, I watched that. I watched it was, some it, of it. it was interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, made me think about some stuff. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that was good. Um, no, no, none of my, none of my um, bills increased. <laughs> 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 I mean, right. that's, that's always, get lower that's than always it good. Yeah, okay. everything flat learning. Uh, <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> yeah, well, the only time you want to hear that word good, flat good, line good, was the bills. Had so. a good week. My water yeah. bill was lower. I think. Oh, was. my gas bill went up for some reason. Uh-huh. I've been reading about that shit. How they fucking over everybody with the gas. A thirty dollar gas bill, ninety nine dollars. Mm. But other people in my neighborhood, they gas you bill jumping from forty forty dollars to. Five hundred, six hundred dollars. It's shit. literally yeah. like talking about save the, the people. Shit. The people that pay, that's who they hit up <laughs> 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 to make up for those that aren't paying. I'm sorry, I don't know what you call that in the political world, yeah. but it's some bullshit. On cool, I didn't get mad. I'm like, all right, I pay that. Yeah, but next month that shit better be back, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Or we're gonna yeah. start buying gas. Yeah. 
So, uh, <laughs> so I lied about everything flatlining because that bitch hiked about 30%. Yeah. <laughs> that bitch jumped. Um, how was your week, Kanye? My week was... Um, He's literally in the ICU recording this right now. Yes. <laughs> I'm recording from far away. <laughs> in the ICU. Anyways, now I I was... Uh, remember I had the cough Saturday or whatever. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. And uh, all week, I couldn't shake it. I couldn't shake it. I couldn't shake it. And uh, I think, hopefully, I think today was is, was my worst or is my worst because I'm, like, sweating now for no reason. So I'm, I'm hoping I shook it. And I, it's kind Shake of a wrap. Like a salt shaker. Now, that being said, I had to go set up a tasting. Uh, and I was in the girl's car because she had the... the tasting materials in there so I figured I'll get her gas and stuff like that so romantic and, anyway so uh, I heard some songs that Mike might know and I, Dania, every time I try to sing it to Dania she didn't know the because girl. you had no lyrics no I did it was it was something like and Mike Mike might get this song it was uh, our, oh I heard uh, the P song Pushing that P. Pushing P. Pushing P. Yeah. yeah, that's my shit. Okay. <laughs> I sang here on karaoke. No, know. I know. <laughs> 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 so, he, he, was, he was one I heard. And I had to stop and wait to go fill up gas because the, the boy was like, she think it's a tick, 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 stutter. So she's making me stutter all the tick, tick. Her friends are thick. That's not like, yo, yo, but, uh, Black youngster. It might have been. Yeah. But was, I don't know what he's... I yeah. had no clue. I said, yeah. you're going to have to play it. And he goes, yeah. no, Michael, get it. It's on 97.9. I heard it like four times. I don't times. listen to that shit, though. I don't listen to the radio. Yeah. Oh, it was like... I, and I don't listen to 97.9. I listen I'm to the ho- 93.7. I'm hollering at her because she did. She did. What's, did, did, yeah, that's, that's black li- li- What's 93.7? That's the new Houston station. It's been... I've been listening to that for the last five, six, seven years. I was going to say... I don't listen to the radio. With the, with the 93. Club. Point. Point seven, yeah. I yeah. usually listen to my phone, so yeah. he got on the radio, and my car doesn't work for news radio. I like all the DJs when over there. Everybody but Man Hatter, the morning show stayed in the box. I store. like the little yellow one girl on 97.9 too. Jazz, is it Jazzy? She got a show? Or she on no. the morning show? Morning show. But well, you know what they did to Trey? No. The truth. No. Yeah, the, they kind of blackballed Trey. They stopped playing this music and everything. Why? Because, so. um, you know, he had his Trey day. And one year, it was a fight or something out there, and they, that's when the tape was on the radio. And the tape made this big deal uh, mm-hmm. about the violence and all that kind of shit, and they stopped playing this music. So a lot of people were like, fuck 97.9 Bucks. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'll check out 93.7. I don't know. Yeah. I don't listen to it. 93.7. The only time I listen yeah, to the radio they, is if my phone the, is in my yeah. head. <laughs> in the beginning, I remember it was like supposed to be, you know, R&B and more, like, different uh, a bag of yeah. stuff they were gonna play, but she it was like she dick. Yeah, that's that, that, dick, that's black dick, 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 dick. She making me stuck because okay. she think That's exactly well, what it was. Okay, like. I, I I I'm not doubting you. I just don't know it, so we'll just figure it out, and then next week we'll know what he was actually saying. We'll Google the lyrics. Um, my thick, week. thick, you know, like thick, thick. But she was saying she thick. thick. All them damn ass ass on her. That one. That one. Yeah. Oh, then I know that one. Thick. It's just called thick, but it, isn't it? G, it's. I have that song. If that's it, it's G. Is G, G, G I don't know. Tequila figured out. He's you know he's the researcher yeah. at the table. My week was good. Um, yeah, DJ Charles. Yeah, that's my shit. Dude. Yeah. DJ Charles over there. Here we go. Real hot girl yeah. shit. Oh. That has to be it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Good. It has to make it a stallion. Yeah. That was it. That's it. Like, oh, yeah. That's it. But then he goes to stuttering. Yeah. She made it up to stutter. Yeah. Take the picture. Watch. Okay. That's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah. Send that song to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I know Stallions on it because yeah. I heard the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. And you remember the other random ass song I listened to that one that was time? The old one. You were thick. 
dun, dun, dun. They, yeah, that's the remake. All that damn ass on her. Yeah. Or just whatever, yeah. You remember the, the other one? I tried to explain to you what it was. Like a Porsche. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, we brought it up. Like, because I need to know lyrics. Yeah, yeah. See, Black Youngster, he just stutter on every song. That's why I think it was Black Youngster. Uh-huh. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that should be my jam. That's Ace Time right there. DJ Charles. Does anybody yeah. want to hear about my week? Go for it. Yeah. My week was thick. You were thick? I'm thick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got another girl on again, guys. I swear, it's like every other week on this podcast. So I was um, handling that. I'm tired. I still have a cough a little bit. I'm not in the ICU. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was kind of my week. I do have a funny story that I want to tell. <laughs> So, last week, um, I had gotten Harper, you know how convicts said I get her toy every week. That's not the truth. Um, no, I said every time she comes to visit, which is more than once a week. Okay. So, thank you. Well, that's also a lie. That's He's not. in the icy. He's not thinking clearly. Um, <laughs> anyways, I got her a Barbie head because she likes to play in hair and stuff. And she took it home and doesn't come back. That's why I keep getting her stuff because it doesn't come back. Anyways, I have something for her tomorrow. I don't want to hear about it. Anyways, uh, so we're sitting down and Harper's putting her Barbie clips in my hair because her doll's not here. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. And then she went to put it in her mom's hair and then she was like, no. <laughs> and then she comes back to me and starts putting it in my hair. And she said, Auntie Barbie. <laughs> and her mom, who was our guest last week, goes, is mommy a Barbie? And she looked at her dead in her eye sockets and said, Mm-mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-mm, no. <laughs> it was the funniest thing, and I was thinking, she's so dang rude, but that's funny. <laughs> but her her mother has natural hair. I have all the extensions and stuff. And her mother goes, "Well, mommy has natural hair," and I said, "Mine's naturally paid for." And she <laughs> said what she said. <laughs> You're just not the Barbie. <laughs> but it was funny, and yeah. She's rude. Harper's going to tell you about yourself mm-hmm. at all times, whether you want to hear it or not. Yeah. yeah. And she check you out, she examine you, and if it's not right... She going to tell you. Yeah. yeah. If your breasts yeah. smell funny, yeah. she going to tell you. If your feet smell funny, she going to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah. Let's get into it. But before we get into our deal breakers... Y'all know what time it is. Everybody should know what time it is. Yeah, I know what time it is. And that time is... (laughs) Joking with Cognac. So I had others, but this one... We know you have a million. On the state of the nation, how I feel right now. Um, What... Why did the zombies skip school? Why did the zombies skip school? I don't know. Because he felt rotten. <laughs> he felt rotten. Because <laughs> he felt rotten. <laughs> <laughs> that was being my... The zombie okay. quit school well, because he felt, he felt rotten. He felt rotten. <laughs> he felt like... Felt like oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He felt rotten and how he feels rotten, yeah. so he's gonna so quit. Like, in yeah. my delusional state yeah. today, because he zombies rot. You get yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You, you guys get it? I kind of get it because I know they say don't send your kids to school if they feel any type of way. Yeah, yeah. Don't even send them. There, I so. mean, I get it. I yeah, watch I get zombie it. shows. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> That's cute. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We're sorry you feel rotten. Right. <laughs> Rob Zombie. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Rob Zombie. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. See, my yeah. joke was funny. Yeah, my, yeah. Mine was an adult geriatric <laughs> 1900s born joke. <laughs> so you know who Rob Zombie is. Yeah. All right. So this week we're doing a deal breakers because we've done one, but I feel like deal breakers change as you grow and some need to be more elaborated on. Yeah, no, I believe that it's a non exhaustive list. So, yeah, so. yeah, you can just keep adding, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> adding until you single, <laughs> At, or adding till you just want to stay single. Yeah. yeah, Um, I listened to the old one. Me too. 
The GM. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, he's in the ICU, so I have to resuscitate him yeah. a couple of times. Um, Paddles. <laughs> oh, God. Anywho, um, I liked ours on there. I still, They all still apply. Those didn't change. Um, yeah. Mine didn't. Didn't mm. any of yours change? No, nah, mine. Huh. They still the same. So you still got to read the room, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> still got to read. He was in the car that we were posting Listen to I, the first I, 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 I haven't got to that level where I could appreciate that. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to the first Deal Breakers episode. Yeah, just for so long. I mean, every now and then, drunk, turning up. Yeah. Get theatrical, but... <laughs> <laughs> you're doing things you know what I'm saying so yeah. you're a little more active so mm-hmm. so but yeah still saying okay so one of mine is and it actually had to do with my week is if you are curious about I don't I don't even know how to word this curious about diversity or you are not a diverse individual don't have diverse people in your life that's a deal breaker for me um i went to brunch on sunday had a blast um good food uh shout out to state of grace they have the best double eggs ever i didn't no pork for me but they're delicious and we were sitting there it was about eight of us and we're all very different and um we had a Uh, two women that were sitting literally by our table. They could have been at our party. Older women of the caucasity uh, (laughs) nature. And they kind of were looking at us a lot and um, they were there longer than us. Yeah. And uh, we got up. Before and after? Yeah, they got sat before us. Yeah. Yeah. and when we got up, they went to my best friend and said, basically, you guys are such a beautiful group and so diverse. How do you guys all know each other? And thank you for the beautiful compliment, but yeah. that's just such a weird question to yeah. me. It's it's an odd question. So your best friend, are they the, are the same persuasion? No, my my yeah. best friend. Yeah. No, no, she's the same persuasion. Oh yeah, she's like, yeah, yeah, same yeah. persuasion as them. Of yeah. course, yeah, yeah. She would. They wouldn't have asked me that yeah. or right. anybody. Uh, yeah. A little bit more mel- melanated. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know it's a diverse, diverse group. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. we have people that are into fashion, people that are super into fashion, people that are this ethnicity, this ethnicity, and we all just get along. And that's something I'm really proud of. Um, I don't want to say, like, I'm the conjoiner of the group, but these are all people that I know and met through different walks of my life, and we come together and we all get along, and it's it's cool. So, you, you, gr- grow up. That's what you should have. You should have different people in your life. Yeah. Um, that's how you learn. That's how you become understanding. And I just think that's corny. I'm yeah. not going to hang around just all black people. Ever. I'm not going to hang around just all white people ever. And hopefully, maybe they learned something. Because yeah. they were definitely older than us. Yeah. And I think they wanted to get invited to the next brunch. Yeah. But you, you might need some more education in your life for that. Or deal breaker for me. You need to be diverse so you have understanding. Or they might um they might take your advice and like we need to find more black people. Don't you know how to use social media? Just, it wasn't just black know. people. I, I, or whatever. Or minorities will, their dumbasses will be like, Don't you know how to use the Googles and the tenders yeah. and try to find well, good, yeah. good. Maybe yeah. they'll learn maybe, something and from maybe those they'll learn they something. Find. Yeah, maybe they'll learn something from me. Yeah, you're right. Anyways, what's a deal breaker for either of you? Does anybody have one on the tip of their tongue? Me is political driven people. Uh, just, just you know, that's what it's all about. That's the deciding factor. You know, what I'm saying those people that's just. 
all they talk about is politics um, and that's what drive their decision making you know what I'm saying based on they, their political beliefs or whatever yeah. I just don't I can't do it yeah and I've I never I've never that. been into that that shouldn't yeah I, that's yeah. why I always said bipartisanship like yeah. just cause you're at red doesn't mean that you and don't have empathy it's, it's, it's for new. blue and blue should it, think it, about it, red it's new I don't think it's new. I mean, for me, it's new. I I don't feel well, like I mean not, I don't feel like it's new. I think it's just more blatant. Yeah, I, it's I got gotten, classmates it's gotten that more. Are, it's gotten more. I got classmates that are representatives. You know what I'm saying? And, and they always want to be that. And they were not like that coming up. I mean, it's just it's to me it's new. You know what I'm saying? But then it got a lot to do with the people I I hang around with because I don't I don't hang with people that. You know what I'm saying? Never. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's gotten more mainstream basically. Well, I'm not a mainstream bitch. Yeah. I do no, but I meant like it's in it's in Sorry. um a lot of things like shows and a lot of political stuff. Well they always had they always have political shows, the yeah. swing and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. No, but I meant like yeah. I meant in general, like yeah. and it's and it's in sports now and it's But you're saying a, but you're saying a deal breaker a it's deal breaker really is sports. your friendship. Yeah, they, they do. politics jump in two sports. That's what I'm, that's yeah. what I'm saying. But, yeah. but deal oh, breakers yeah. are who your friends are. But you say more recently that what wasn't really like that until recently where it's gotten more mainstream. Where it's political right. things and sports, but he's not it's, saying, it's, saying I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to deal break with the TV. I, it's saying, yeah. Yeah. no, my, no, no. My, I need a deal breaker with my friends. Is I need to be able to not have, have conversations where it's always this or yeah. deal breaker with my girlfriend or uh, prostitute. Yeah, <laughs> or <laughs> that well, was from the earlier. Because it says stupid. Thing. Yeah, I ain't gonna say it's stupid, but. It's somewhat kind of. I mean, I think I've said that my whole life when I had understanding. You're not going to change a lot of people's things. You just give your opinion, and we have social media now, so you can give your opinion yep. and leave it at that. You don't have to comment back with anybody. Um, yeah, because it's all fucking crazy. Uh, you know, because I, I, I ain't gonna do a compar- comparison of, of two people because that will cause an argument. But yeah. Now one is down there saying what the other one was saying. You know what, saying? Like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stupid ass shit. Yeah. Which is yeah. why it's done. <laughs> yeah. Bipartisan. I yeah. literally knew that at age, I, not to toot my own yeah. horn, I graduated early. So by age 12, I was like, these adults are crazy. Yeah. It's almost another form of racism. Because yeah. you, you're you not judging nobody by their character. Now if you judge somebody by their character, I do the comparison. You know what I'm saying? But just... By their beliefs and what they stand for, they saying is the actually same fucking thing down there when when yeah. push comes to shove. Yeah, they, you know what they saying? all but the say the same thing, yeah. just differently yeah. and weirdly. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that one. That's that's a deal breaker. It gives me a headache. You have one, cognac. I did. I had to step away uh, <laughs> for a second. Uh, no, mine. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I was like, why are you looking at my notes? Don't try to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I, I forgot to say um, bad breath, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, I feel like I forgot did to somebody say, say that hygiene? Last time. I said hygiene, but I went into a rant about that. You might not have. I don't remember hygiene. But yeah, bad bad breath sucks. And then that's kind so, of a deal right here. Somebody said it because I remember saying if, if they're your friends, you should be able to. Tell me. I think that yeah. was us helping. Oh, we were doing a yeah. that I remember was the yeah. dear semi sober ones where her friend she brought her on her work friends and she's got halitosis. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I remember yeah. That one, yeah. Bad breath is bad. Yeah. For a relationship and friendship, and it worked. <laughs> well, our deal breakers were for a professional yeah. friendship and relationships. Yeah. So, yeah. Most of the time, you can taste it before you even open your mouth. You know what I'm saying? You know it's hot when you know what I'm saying? You, you know? <laughs> Look, I'm like... <laughs> I had this um, this Vic stuff she got me, this cough drop, and it's a potent one, an extra potent one. And when I went to the store, I threw it in my mouth and put the mask That's on. That's what you need for the ICU. And it, my, uh. my eyes started watering. Yeah. It was so potent. 
the, the, the cough drop yeah. that got to my eyes. And I was like, they're looking at me like, it what smelled better. Than, it smelled better than a cough, right? Well, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Doctor, the girl over here, you're welcome. If you need any good cough drops instead of the candy ones that don't do anything. Uh, deal breaker for me, kind of along the lines with uh, tequila. Anyone siding with Putin Putin right now? That's a deal breaker for me. Um, I'm just telling you right now, any listeners that are my friends, that are in my circle, anybody sitting right here that has an excuse as to what he's doing, it's a deal breaker for me. Thank you. And you Ukrainian people are amazing. And shout out to our, I mean, I'm in America. I'm sure there's people overseas that are doing a lot too, but we have actual American soldiers that are going on their own dime to go help. And I am like, damn, that's pretty dope to go pick, to use your set of skills, certain set of skills to help these people because you know the shit's wrong. But he's a good guy, according to some politicians. I don't know. Whatever. Good, smart guy. What's your deal breaker? He said he's going to do what he's going to do. I guess this is someone. I said it was a deal breaker, right? You heard what I said, right? So, what's your deal breaker? Uh, somebody who think they can cook but can't cook, <laughs> and I always want to cook and get offensive, get offended when you don't want to eat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, I've never had that experience. <laughs> well, yeah. they, make, they make one meal that's good, and it's kind of a bootleg meal. Yeah, and then um. Uh, they think they can just make everything else and they just need to stick to that one oh, they can only hamburger. Do one. They stick, can to, stick to that, that hamburger. But with, are you, 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 you going to tell them? Are you going to tell them? Or it's uh, just, I'm just not coming over to read the room. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, every, yeah. you know, yeah. I mean, I'll everybody's tell taste buds are different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, but what if they're coming with that delicious pussy? But not the food. Right, will you to then tell them you can't cook? We ain't got to talk about food. Oh. Yeah. If that's what they bring, why are we talking about? I already food? ate before. Yeah. <laughs> well, they should bring both. <laughs> I thought. I already ate before I came. Let's just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. Well. Um, going right. back. Sorry. I'm going back to what uh, Danielle was saying. I'll eat that tomorrow when you go. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> God. Just leave that. <laughs> The bad food. The bad food. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I had a, a, a language ba- boundary. Um, well, you were next up anyways. Huh? You were next up anyways. No, is, no. Is I that was a deal say, breaker for you? No, no. Going back to what you were saying about something, I, I had to bench it and I, I apologize. My uh, uncle texted me that. No, we're not. We, oh, can't, we do can't do that. that. No, that's. Literally private info. You literally cannot do that. I'm not. Okay. No. Mm-mm. It's not private anymore. It is. Boy it's gone. a family okay. thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyways, uh, deal breaker for me is a legitimate gold digger. I guess. What's a legitimate one? Like, as far as... <laughs> What's a legitimate and illegitimate? Well, I mean, like, like okay, gold digger in general. Just, that's so you got a legitimate one. One want a, want a Birkin bag and your other one want a coat. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that makes sense. See? Yeah. The, thank you. You put there it you down. Go. There you go. The, the coach is illegitimate. Yeah. yeah. So you need to step her game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. The Birkin, she, she been doing it for a minute. Oh, she no. got plans and... Shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. if she got the burger. Yeah. Yeah. She not just trying to get it. She already. She got it. Yeah. Got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. Little mama just still want the coach trying to get the coach. Mm. <laughs> she illegitimate. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a man, so I don't know. Or um, dating a woman that way. You can borrow my coach and my burger <laughs> if you need to. If I'm dating a woman. <laughs> You can just borrow wine. See why lesbian activity is smart financially? Kind of. <laughs> you just so share everything. The game, the guys, they <laughs> share, share clothes. everything. <laughs> no, guys, they I'm, say that. They share clothes. I'm at too, handbags. So. I know. But men are gold diggers, too. Yeah. No, I know. I was saying that guys share pants. Because my enemies are out to get me. <laughs> That's 
right. Oh my gosh. Every did you time. get? Did you see that the family that the name that he's using is finally suing? I brought it up oh, on our podcast. Oh, they're suing him on Netflix. No, they're suing him. Mm. And I'm like, why it takes so long? Because he's on Netflix and this shit. Remember, I was like, yeah. you can't even say "ka" without the, yeah. them going after you. Why aren't these people and their actual billionaires? Yeah. Well, it's happening now. All right. A deal breaker for me is. Um, Pick me people. I don't like pick me people. What are they? Pick me. Yeah, um, I think my girl, Odd, t- well, that's where I heard it from, but it was like the chameleon people, where it's like, like me, like me, like me, please, I'll do anything, you know. Um, oh, yeah, he is it. Yeah, it's kind of like the Inventing Anna and the Tender Swindler. Where it's, you just change who you are Mm -hmm. for someone to like you. I don't like that shit. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, our old friend, I'm not going to say her name, where everyone she dated, that's who she was. She became, yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like pick me, like, pick me, pick me, pick me. Yeah. It kind of goes with attention hungry, and then you're just not a real person. So, I don't, that's a deal breaker for me. Just be you. Yeah. Like I said, I have a diverse group of friends. I don't agree with everything they say, believe in, whatever. Mm-hmm. But those are my people. And we don't have to change ourselves to Not be you. friends. Yeah. It's gross. Even though some of them do try to. Oh. Well. But they, they end up falling off. Well, it depends on what. Well, you can't. What kind of change you're going for? If it's like for the better, <coughs> excuse me. You know, I mean, it's for the better. Of, of right, yourself. but I don't like people. But for yourself, of the better for yourself, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not I don't, for somebody, I not for somebody else, but like for yourself. Yeah. Right, but I just I don't like when I say pick me people. I think of fake love. Yeah. Like where they're giving you fake love, but they're actually hating on you. So they're molding themselves to be like you. To take notes, like yeah. you know, I have um, I don't even know how to word this. I have you know a friend where you know, like I said, I've moved around a lot, so I have best friends everywhere in the world. And one of my best friends has a best friend who you have a best friend in, the, in Antarctica. Yeah, no, no, I wouldn't. No, because I'm not a pick me. Oh, I just like you. Yeah. No, I would. She didn't say that. I would part say that. I would say all over the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do, but I have one that uh, you know. All she has a friend world. that's a literal hater and well, doesn't I mean, see it. It's the, it's Can I finish? My like a literal hater where you know she's vocalized to people you know that don't even know her that she's jealous that this my friend per se um gets all this attention oh yeah and she doesn't understand yeah. why she gets all this attention it's not fair that's called a pick me person pick me pick me put me in your mm-hmm. life but i'm still mad you know i'm still hating and i don't i don't comprehend it but whatever Teach your own. That's my deal breaker. That's ugly. Yeah. That's an ugly person. What yeah. Dania meant by that is... I know uh, she meant, bro. <laughs> no, yeah. she meant, you know, the Kevin Bacon rule. He's no. telling the listeners, no. not you. Yeah, the no. Kevin Bacon rule that, you know, she might know this person and knew that person. That... Yeah. No. Yeah, well, fuck that. I'm sorry. If anybody expresses any hate towards me or if any of my friends hear that... Tell me, because I need you out. Yeah. What is the deal breaker for you? All these snakes on this motherfucking plane. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like snakes. Somebody That's a snake, right? Huh? That's kind of the same. Yeah, the same yeah. pick me, pick me person, yeah. 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 I don't, I don't like that shit in personal business. Um, none of it. None oh of my God, it. I yeah. hate it. I mean... I hate snakes that you, in most cases, do it, try to succeed. 
you know, throw people under the under bus. Under the bus. You know what I'm saying? So they can uh, that's a big one. try to succeed. You know what I'm That's I mean? a big one for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, and sometimes, and sometimes I'm me being the better person. I could could turn it around on them, but I'm I'm tiptoeing to figure out because. But it's yeah, it's, it's my thing. It's I'm, his deal I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm done. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I got no, really upset on that one because. But it's not a deal breaker for you because you deal with it all the time. I. Okay, what? Go ahead. No, just you know, it, try. it can be a deal breaker for me because I got a tiptoe around it. No, People that that do that shit, they try to succeed, and they do it to, you know, honest people who really in the, whatever position they in based off performance, character and performance. You know what I'm saying? And and then you just doing snake shit. I hate shit, a snake bitch. You know bitch. what I'm saying? Trying to tear a motherfucker down. That's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I hate that shit. That's a deal breaker. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. explain it to you later what I mean. No, no you're good. We know you're what you mean. Right we all there. know what you mean. Yeah. We, we, I mean, it's a slithering thing in business mm-hmm. in general. You deal with it. I don't know how you deal with it, but you deal with but it. But it's not a deal breaker. Yeah, if you're still dealing with it. We can't call that a deal breaker. Yeah. We can. Yeah. Well, you can't. And I can't. I can't. Yeah. I can't either. No. What I'm just saying is, I haven't left, so it's on a deal breaker. It's not that. I'm talking about a whole nother. Oh, we know. We know. But you jumped on his. <laughs> My fault. All right. Do you have. Was that your other deal breaker? Yeah. Or do you have one? Cause fucking I got motherfucking one. bus throwers. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucking bus throwers. Like, they'll do anything. Throw it on top of your they'll head. They'll do anything. Yeah, like Carlos. And you. <laughs> And, you, and you know, he threw everything. Yeah, yeah. And you almost, um, you almost want to say something. Mm, it, it sucks. You just gotta like take the shit with the sugar on some scenarios with that. Not in. But you well, not for me. Well, here, okay, but here's the thing: if, if I, you're not fucking me, you're not allowed to fuck me. Well, <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? I, I don't know what to. Patent that or copyright. But that. here's okay. So here's 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 the best case scenario to give you. There was one time when there was a step up to say something about this bus thrower, but the relationship was better than our relationship with this guy with the bus thrower. So they didn't believe us. They believed the bus thrower over us. So we ended up, you know what I mean? So you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. I mean, you can explain stuff logically and be like, here's the situation. This person doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Because that person been snaking for a minute. Snakes. You know what I'm saying? But that's my point. Once that snake get in, he's laying How many of us have them? Laying his foundation. Well, you yeah. know, you take the shit with the sugar. I don't, know, I don't care. Yeah. It's about to be a deal breaker for me. That, you got to break that not foundation. Yet, not yet. I haven't brought that up, but yeah. it's about to be a deal breaker for me. When I hit 40, I'm not dealing with any more uh, deal breaking business things. My deal breaker is religious hypocrites. Mm. Let me explain. I think I kind of brought it up. I brought up uh, Love is Blind. That's what we were watching. Um, Shane, I still hate you. Uh, Just want to throw that out there. I just don't like it. I don't like it. Um, That would never work for me. And I want to say, shout out to Cognac. Um, We grew up in completely different religions um, and things and different teachings and here we are almost 22 years later uh, I'm sick of people Bible quoting Torah quoting Quran quoting whatever they're doing when it's a pick and choose for you like Great, that Bible verse works for you, but while you're fucking, that doesn't apply. Or while you're drinking, it doesn't apply. Or while you're being 
disrespectful to your parents, it doesn't apply. I'm just going to the Ten Commandments. While you're coveting your neighbor, it doesn't apply. Or, you know, stop it. I don't like that. I like listening to everyone's perspective, learning where they come from. Um, and I'm cool with it. Because uh, whatever religion you are, unless you're an extremist that thinks off with their heads uh, for anybody that doesn't believe in you, you're supposed to be a forgiving person. How are you less forgiving or less understanding than your God or your Christ or your whoever you worship? It's corny to me. And that's a deal breaker for me. I promise. Because I would have never even dated Cognac if that was a thing for him. Um, I like understanding people diversity. When I say diversity, it's not just culture or what your skin looks like. That means everything. Be a good person. And if you got a good person and you are a good person, that shit doesn't matter. It shouldn't deal breaker for me well, yeah like you said i mean uh, from the, from the jump you yeah. know before when we were dating you know obviously you know, i told you i don't need it's not a relationship talk i'm just no no i, I told was, you i was I Jew, you. jewish from the beginning and yeah. I, I you know i said you know yeah but i grew up in christian school mm-hmm. and we weren't church goers or anything else and i said oh, okay you cool with this you cool with this the, the other people weren't, but whatever. <laughs> no comment? <laughs> Is that a deal breaker for you? I, I just ain't fucking with no devil worshippers or and shit like that. You know? That's so <laughs> weird. Deal breaker for you? Because that was a deal wait, breaker. Wait, yeah. Devil. Thinking about that for me, you know, I go. And, 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 you know, some people worship the devil. They don't know they worship the devil. You know, it's, 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 I got certain beliefs. And I can deal with anybody, but it's certain things that if I see it, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? This That's where Mike happening. said that. I ain't going to call you out on it or, you know what I'm saying, tell you you're a bad person because you do it or whatever. It's just, I don't fuck with I it. I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. And that's actually, that was one of mine was like, and it wasn't like he said it, but it was more like, I just can't, I wouldn't be able to deal with somebody that had no spirituality. Yeah. Either. Like, you know what I mean? Like, not nothing. Yeah. That yeah. that would be odd to me. Yeah. And that would be better than finish show for them too because I'd be like, what do you mean you don't But you wouldn't even be dating at that point. Yeah. yeah. You know, like spirituality it's it, it's different for everyone. Cuz I knew, you know, that one person we knew and I was like it always kind of and she was a good person. Right, but, but it, it weirded you out. Yeah, but I that just, person that you're bringing up, I'm not gonna. It, she was a. She grew up Jehovah's Witness, no, so I she know, knows. No, she was a good person. Cult and, uh, stuff. And and uh, I was, and she said I was done with it. She yeah. was done because that particular religion. Sorry to any of those people, but to her it seemed cultish, and she just was done with it. But she's not a bad person. No, and that's the One thing. Of the best I had no, people. I had no problems with her. But then again, I didn't have to really deal with her that much. But I remember, I always like it. Kind of, she the threw Pentagon me. surreal. I just didn't like the Pentagon necklace surreal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I don't care. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sleeping. No, like I said, it didn't. Bo- it didn't bother me. I mean, like I said, I treat her with respect and so on and so forth. Yeah. Because some people end up where they at because of shit that they went through, you know what I'm saying? They could have been in the most genuine, I guess, you know, I don't do the religion shit, the, the, the best religion in the world, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? But if they had a bad experience there, they already got a knack for being a part of something, so they can end up in some, they can end up in some, some bullshit, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Just depends on I mean, I'm not, under. let me just take it to a fight, I'm not, if you yeah. sacrifice animals, I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's not going to yeah. work for me yeah. either. No, I'm not fucking with <laughs> But, yeah, yeah I just, uh, I just think get to know people and their stories, <coughs> and some of those people are the best people. That's all. That and was and some shit you can't hide. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, if you write, 
are not that you write, but if you got a pretty wholesome walk and level relationship with who and what you believe in, it'll be hard for somebody. It's kind of hard for somebody else to sell you their shit. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, it goes you, right. There's certain vibes, you know. Right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it goes both ways. Yeah. And they, they they see it in you, and you see it in them. They they people see your people see the light, because the light spells darkness. You know what I'm saying? So I know, and I'm works. I'm such yeah. a light to people, <laughs> yeah. and I've never gone. Do you want to convert? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, sorry, that was me being humble. <laughs> Does anybody have any other? Um... Y'all have one aggressively nosy people. Aggressively nosy. What is aggressively, aggressively nosy? nosy. <laughs> like Diane, she's aggressively nosy. Oh, yeah, um, but nah, well, but, she's yeah, Diane. Yeah, but it's nah. So I'm Denise, t- Denise is yeah. a she Denise. is a yeah. she is a deal breaker for me. <laughs> so, so I, it's a situation. I'm gonna see if I dance around a little bit, but make it make sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want to hear going on in my family, and I have a aunt who I love to death, and she's a. Uh, Aggressively nosy, but she think it's Karen. You know what I'm saying? She thinks oh, she's Karen. Yeah, okay. thinks she's being Karen, and it's a situation that two people need to handle between themselves. You know what I'm saying? And one other person's made a decision. You know what I'm saying? This is the decision. No, you know what I'm saying? So the other person, B, so your A and B, A said no. You know what I'm saying? My nosy honesty. <laughs> So B asked A for my aunt's phone number and threw her in the loop and totally went against what A said. So, and it affects A's household, you know what I'm saying? And um, it ain't making sense. And I'm not gonna make it make sense because it's just it's a real delicate situation. But I can't stand, and they tried to put me in it, called me multiple times in the middle of the night about some shit. Trying to make you D. Yeah, that I, mm-hmm. yeah, I said, said no about, told them that they shouldn't do it to mind your business, and my aunt was like, well, I wasn't raised like that. I said, well, my grandfather mind his fucking business. I don't know what you're talking about, you know what I'm saying? Because my grandfather raised me, and you talking about he didn't raise you like that. He raised me like that yeah. to mind my fucking business, and uh, it's not your business. I don't care how much you care about the person. If you open your door to him, open your door to him. You can't open your door to him for three days and then send them back somewhere <laughs> to somebody who said they can't come here. B needs to see <laughs> yeah. a C. Yeah, uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mind your fucking business. That's all. That's an old, old, old uh, 1900s saying. <laughs> yeah. A, B, the saving conversation. Yeah. See yeah. your way yeah. out of it. See yeah. your way out of it. Yeah. 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 It just, uh, yeah. I mean, family. I'm kind of nosy though. Family. I mean, family is Not family. Nice. You know what I'm saying? And, and I understand family trying to look out for family, but you have to be prepared to give people the help that they need, and not the help that you think they need. You yes. know what I'm saying? You can't help people all the time when they just fucking desperate. You know what I'm saying? Because they acting out of desperation. They trying to satisfy. Getting out of situation, yeah, because they they fucking desperate, but they going back to a situation that haven't changed, so they just stand in the same. You just starting some shit all over again that haven't been taken care of. Let them take care of their shit. You know what I'm saying? And let them get adapted to their situation, so they won't be so fucking desperate. But don't 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 answer the desperation. So the deal breaker for you is don't answer. To mind his fucking business. He's phone call. Yeah. He doesn't like to be a group text that much. Yeah. If, if, you, if you care, his... if you care about somebody, care about them. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't. Sometimes caring is letting don't go. Don't get so emotional or wrapped into. Sometimes caring is letting go. Look, 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 look beyond the surface. You know what I'm saying? Look beyond the surface. Yeah. Hey, I see you. You never take any of your IV. <laughs> no IV fluids. No, no IV fluids. Yeah. You're an ICU. Yeah. There's nurses that come back. 
<laughs> I told them I was doing the podcast, so they said they'd give me an hour. Oh, okay. So they, they called me this morning and apologized because they knew that they had broke the deal with me last night. But uh, like I say, it's all they right. They didn't break the deal. No. Yeah, it was broke last you're night. Still, you're still there. Yeah, it was broke last night. <laughs> <laughs> on that shit. Uh, on that, yeah. Don't call me no more with that shit. He keeps acting like he's not looking at my I'm nose. Not. <laughs> Lion ass. I don't look overly nosy, cognac. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. So. All right. Do you have a deal breaker? Or you want me to throw one out there? Go ahead. Deal throw breaker me. for me. Long nails on men. It took, uh, it took me not even finishing the sun. So I got one. Because <laughs> I, I do my research in my notes. Long nails are on men. I don't like long nails on men. Sorry. That's a deal breaker. You don't like that one little Coke fingernail thing? <laughs> I, the little pink, I the didn't even know what it was until I was an adult. I was like, yeah. what is that? What? what? That's that. That, little that, cut, pink, that yeah. cut and smell? That little, <laughs> I, yeah. Give it to me, baby. Give yeah. it to me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, I'm like, damn, bitch. And that's probably really hypocritical of me because I, women have long nails um, sometimes. I used to have long nails. But, um, yeah. I never. Yeah. No, I just, you know. I, I think I used to have long nails. If uh, as a woman, I don't know. Maybe I'm different. There, other women may not care, but I look and I think that looks painful. Oh yeah. In my yeah. Who no 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 no. <laughs> so that's a deal breaker. Oh um, who no no. Yeah. Now, you, you know, a real man no he can't even do what he's supposed to do with long nails. Oh. So, I mean, you can't change no fucking oh. alternator with long nails. You can't change the oh. tire with long nails. You know what I'm saying? It's absurd shit. You, you can't, can't change that. <laughs> you, can't, you can't hammer a fucking nail in the wall too damn good. Hey, I can hammer it. I mean, I'm just saying that that's, you're but doing that on a regular. That's my thing yeah. is I'm saying it's like a, yeah. that's just a me thing. If you, work with your, it's, if you work with your hands, it's hard to. Yeah. yeah, you'll be more efficient. You don't have to work around long nails. <laughs> yeah. You'll be more efficient. Yeah. yeah, I just that's what I look at. Sorry, deal breaker for me. If your nails are longer than mine, that's a problem. Yeah. But my, I don't know. But if there was a female with long nails, I feel like females would know how to work if they. <laughs> I don't know. Men aren't usually. Working long with the nailed. hands. Long yeah. nailed. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Do you have one? Yeah. Uh, this is my last one. Okay. Because uh, the time is working against us. Uh, I know, but I have a group one. Go. People that can't drive. It's a, it's a deal breaker. That drive horrible. Deal breaker is a, in a relationship? Or relationship. Or friendship? If I gotta ride with you and you drive back, <laughs> I, I, and you know it's fucked up because I'm used to driving everywhere, so I'm used to, so everything kind of. I literally feel like you just need to drive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's not gonna work. Yeah. I'm kind of that way too. I don't want to ride this with point you. Yeah. In my life. I don't yeah. want to. Yeah, I need to be in control. Yeah. Because every little thing you control do, control free. Everything, every little thing you do. Don't bother the hell out of me. Hmm. I and just I, and I don't think <laughs> Connie was looking I'm, at me, and I just said I think I'm the same way. And and I get, but I know how to drive. That's my angry place for some reason. <laughs> in the car, I get angry. Not the angry car. place. Yeah, so I get ticked off because you're playing with my life. And uh, but do you like when when people when you're driving? Do you like when people make snickers of stupid shit like? So if you're driving tequila and someone's riding with you and they're like, oh, oh, what? be careful. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go off on them. Yeah. Yeah. But I ain't, I ain't that I easy. Went, I went half-ass on the... Uh, I'll pull over on them. Yeah. I'll pull over and... Well, I, pull over. Yeah, and just step pull out. Pull over, Kanye. Yeah, cause get in the back seat and yeah. you drive this bitch. Yeah. My <laughs> yeah. brake what? lights a mile ahead. Slow down. No. Not, he no, tried to slow like me though. He yeah. didn't do shit. Yeah, we talked about this. Yeah, I'm, I'm you're not gonna make him yeah. under, because no, I wouldn't no. say anything with you're him not driving. What I'm I saying. wouldn't say anything the with person, him driving. The person, the person, you're an evil Knievel. No, when I was with a person the me. other day. No, you too. Oh. But my mom, as a matter of fact, 
We were going to Specs now. She's an older person. And there was like brake lights a mile ahead. She was like, oh. Like, because she didn't see me hit the, the, the brakes. I get that. And I'm like, well, I get that. You did total yeah. a car doing the same thing. Yeah, I get that. she had to pay for it. Excuse oh, me? I said what I said. Excuse me, how? I said what I said. Because oh, your brakes were bad? Okay. But I, somebody I in front of you can have bad what brakes. What I said. I'm saying I had it under control. No. Okay. A mile ahead, I'm supposed to break right away? Okay. Okay. So, can we do a round? I drive, I play, I play, I drive like I play chess. Period. <laughs> like I said, listeners yeah. again, we're going yeah. to, who, we're going to have somebody drive with us. I ain't playing, I ain't playing Who's the best, who's the best, dri- who's the best driver and who's more efficient? Well, we need someone that values their life. Yeah. They'll take. I mean, the most of it. So, so that's, that's. We've done this for episodes after episodes. But, but that's, 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 that's a dumbass competition. Because if they I, can I, I, I could be, on. I could be more efficient. Yeah, they can just rate. by leaving earlier than the motherfucker that's trying to speed demon. But I'm saying drive. they can rate. You. No, I leave on time to get on time. Oh, that's what I'm okay. saying. But I can leave earlier than your on time and still be just as fish efficient. It was who? It was. Why are we deal breaking yeah. about driving? Yeah, that's a deal breaker. <laughs> that's driving. A deal breaker if it was for me. deal breaker, I would have never even dated you. <coughs> Cause you crazy. <coughs> All right, so. Um, last night while I was doing my notes of my own deal breakers, um, I came across on Instagram, Lala, Anthony, and Sierra were on the Ellen show, uh, Sierra was hosting, and they did a deal breakers game. And they basically asked these things, and they raised paddles if it was a deal breaker or not. So I want to end this with a, is it a deal breaker or not? Okay. Don't have to go too into it. Ready? Sure. Tequila, Kanye, you ready? Yeah. Choose loudly. What? Choose loudly. Oh, when deal eating. breaker. I can't deal fucking breaker. Choose what? Loudly. Oh, yeah. Deal like, breaker. <laughs> yeah, deal breaker. Any noise while eating kind of. Like well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, damn. Breathing through your nose all out while you... Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will yeah. say they both said not a deal breaker, and then uh, Twitch, who's... Uh, but he said not a deal breaker. I mean, I, we could talk about it, but... Yeah, I'm, it's, or he yeah. said it was a deal breaker. Yeah. The man on the set said it was. Yeah. The women said nah. All right. Socks on during sex. Is that a deal breaker or no? That's creepy as hell. Yeah. The button, no. Sure that, yeah. I'm, no. I'm going to take them off. So, it's not an issue. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's a deal breaker for you, for your girl, if she has socks on. If she has socks on, I'm going to take them off. Oh, you're in the, oh yeah. sorry. Yeah. I thought yeah. you were saying you were taking your yeah. own off. Yeah. But the girl has cute socks. So, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's so, not a deal breaker for me because I don't like feet. Yeah. I'm giving my answers. Lack of aspiration. Deal breaker. Deal breaker. That's, I agree. Yeah, I'm scared of that shit. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, that means you're yeah, just I know cool what it means. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know what it means. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah, I'm scared of that kind of shit. Why would somebody say not a deal breaker? Yeah, well, some people don't care. Yeah. yeah. Um, veganism. No, um, not, no. A deal, not a deal. Breaker. Not a deal breaker for me at all. Um, as long as. That's a deal maker for me right now because I'm trying to in, yeah, right. get, get into that shit. Oh, a deal right. maker. <laughs> yeah. A deal maker. <laughs> yeah, right. That's I need somebody to introduce me to that. Tell right. me right yeah. that shit. Yeah, deal maker. Me. No, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, deal maker. I love it. No, it's it's healthy. I know. Um, I'm saying that's funny. I have no problem with different diets as long as you respect mine, I respect yours. Yeah. That kind of thing. All right. Yeah, I, I would like to entertain that. Different sex drives. Deal breaker. Deal breaker. Deal breaker. Has to be. Well, uh, well oh, I don't know if sorry. it has to be. I, mean, I didn't give their answers. Yeah. 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 Deal breaker. It, it don't have to be. Because, well, no? Yeah. Because yeah. Some people are like, okay, I'll just wait. Yeah. yeah it, <laughs> or, what do you mean? Oh. I, okay. I remember this girl, she, you know, she tried to tell me that she didn't. 
have a big sex drive. It was a deal breaker that they ever happened because I know my sex drive. But some people probably, you know, she was a pretty girl and she had exes and been in relationships and shit. So some some dudes tolerate that. Did you hit it? No, I ain't. You never hit it. No, I never hit it. Because she said. Yeah, I ain't even waste my time. Did she put you in a headlock? No. (laughs) No, (laughs) not at all. Yeah. You think he took a headlock from somebody he didn't hit it from at least (laughs) once? Yeah. No. uh, Yeah. I don't know. No. Horny's horny, and it works for women and men. So. (laughs) Well, I believe that men and women are supposed to do that, so. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If you right, but okay, yeah, right, but, <laughs> but, it but you know, everybody's you know. time frame are yeah. different. Some yeah. people think once a month is cool. <laughs> no, I'm saying some people say once a month yeah. is cool. Some yeah. people think three times a week is outrageous. Some people think one times a week is cool. Everybody's are different, but yeah. if they don't align, no, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of the movie of. Don't be in the South Central while drinking your gin and juice blood. When back. she's like, she's like, I'm shy. I'm shy. <laughs> she and wasn't she, shy. She tore his <laughs> ass up. <Yeah. laughs> All right, two more. Bad grammar. I, I got that song. And I'm single, so it must be a deal breaker. It's clearly not a deal, a deal breaker, breaker for me. Yeah. Y'all think it's a deal breaker? Bad grammar? Yeah, for you. I have bad grammar. I didn't, it's not about me. It's, no, you said yeah. yeah. I thought you said it was a deal breaker for you. I, I said it's clearly not. You're answering it's, yourself. If a girl you're dating or a man you're dating has bad grammar, a, is that a deal breaker? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it I was mean, not. You, gotta define, you just said. You have to really. I didn't date. I mean, come on. <laughs> define bad like, grammar. So, now, so, so if it's like um, cheater's bad grammar, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I ain't with the hood talk. Put it like that. I ain't with the slang yeah. and all that kind of. It may not be bad grammar, but it uses a lot of slang and bad grammar and talk like you from the hood. Not from the hood. Let me not say the hood, but no. you got certain mannerisms. What you, no. you know what I'm saying? Um, in 2022, I don't need nobody to talk like I talk. In 2022. No, I'm saying. Text wise, I'm okay with it. I do. I am that person. I am the grammar police. Um, but it's not a deal breaker, text wise. But if you talk dumb, well, that's what I thought we were talking I about. I didn't know it was text. Well, we're all giving our own. Yeah. Um. If you use a lot of slang, that's it for me. It's not yeah, slang. Yeah, it's slang. It's not there. even the slang. Yeah, right? so, yeah. so the grammar thing, I don't know, but I'm not with all the slang. You know, it's one thing, like, you talk amongst your friends a certain way, and, you know, whatever. But. Okay. That's the end. The end. The end. The end of our we story. We got a book. You know, we we trying to be romantic, and you like... It's been to go down. What's, <laughs> <laughs> what's cracking? What's cracking? Yeah. You got that what's, dick? What's, what's popping, my nigga? <laughs> you got that yeah, dick? Yeah. 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 That pussy wet? Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. want to hear that. Yeah, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> wet, W H E T. Sir? But, but, and that's what I mean with text. Like, <laughs> What do they text you? Wet. W H E T. Sir, what is wet? What do you mean? Yeah. But that's why. That's why there's certain people I say get on my nerves, and you're like, "Oh, I love that person." I'm like, "But that's why they get on my nerves." It's just right, but it's but that's not a deal persona, breaker for you. Yeah. I'm not fucking those certain that's people. That's their persona. You like cash money your whole life. That's the worst grammar I ever heard ever. <laughs> but the beat was hot. <laughs> All right, who started? Oh, it is. Tequila's turn. Do you want mine? Dig so, in the so now we uh, <laughs> gonna get into our segment where we tell you guys three thousand things about us, and us is me and me, tequila, me, cognac, and me being a girl. And we're gonna use this magnificent book that you will see one day posted. Oh my but, god. Uh, 
I'm going to open it randomly. I'm literally just going to let him post it. And I'm going to post it when we I, I finish recording. I don't even know how to do it. I'm going to open it <laughs> <laughs> and randomly pick a question and ask the question. And we will answer it as honestly as honest can be, which is mm-hmm. honest. Like, <laughs> um, 1973. Uh-oh. If you didn't want to serve jury duty. What? What is the most is Why creative, is this? This is the second t- last week. Excuse you give. If you didn't want to serve jury duty, what's the most creative excuse you'd give? I would just check the box that um it's against my religion. I would check the religion box in mail paperback. Me, I would just say everybody guilty until they're they're not proven innocent. I got a summons <laughs> I got a summons two months ago and they just Check a box and send the shit back. That's what I did. I checked the box and sent the shit back. Okay, well, if anyone's listened to the past like, give two, the de- two, three give episodes, the death penalty. my answer is <laughs> I don't have one because I want to. It's a speeding ticket. Give them the death penalty. I'm, I'm probably going to go to jail because I'm about to start telling people, do you kind of look like me? I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. honestly. Jeez. I should have just went to law school or something. Mm-hmm. Damn. I told you, you know, you. I know, but I was worried about off. teeth. I wanted to be a dentist. You could sit in the courthouse and listen to these cases. But can I though? Yeah. No, because you need attention. I can't just sit at the courthouse. I'll go to the courthouse with you. No. And we can. So both, you can <laughs> no, so we can both look at each other when something pops up, and I'll be like, "No, thank you. That doesn't sound appealing. Deal breaker." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. We'll be back next week. That sound like I gotta go check on my casserole. This um, <laughs> this date this chick was telling me about years ago, the dude used to take her to the airport to watch planes take off. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, did he want to be a pilot or something? He didn't want to be a pilot or anything. They just <laughs> like was he fidget spinning in her vagina? But hold on. Was, <laughs> well, there, there's a lot of romantic movies like that, though. Wasn't it The Fault in the Stars where they watch plants they for something? No. Hobby. They got a hobby. Huh? Hobby. <laughs> he said hobby. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. H Town only knows about that. I don't, I don't want to go look at planes taking off. Oh, uh, Wayne's World, they did that. Remember oh, Wayne's, come on, dude. With the, with the, Wayne's World. The planes come on. Come on. That's just like holding a radio outside the window playing. Whoa. <laughs> Every rose has oh, its phone. Yeah. Deal breaker. <laughs> if, you're, <laughs> if you're not a vampire <laughs> and you can redo that over and over for eternal life, I don't want to do that. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Good Thank night. You. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, doctor, I need some more. <laughs> That's it for this week's episode of Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback. Follow us on all the social medias. Leave your comments and reviews. Until next week, keep safe and keep your squad close. Thanks for hanging out.